सो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर थर्ड विच इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्पर्म ओके सो स्पर्म इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज स्पर्मेटो जोन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम सो स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्पर्म ओके सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्पर्म एंड यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन इज नोन एज हैड and uh, upper side of the head there is a acrosome present and this particular region is known as neck this is middle piece and this particular region is tail okay so uh, now i am going to uh, tell you about some factor about the sperm so now we talk about the sperm so sperms are microscopic okay uh, because we cannot see uh, with neck dies only we can see the with the help of microscope so that's why sperms are microscopic right okay and sperms are enclosed by the plasma membrane okay so let's see in this diagram this is covered by a thin membrane is known as plasma membrane okay so next thing is the shape of the sperm so tadpole shaped Two to five millimeter in diameter and sixty millimeter long. Okay, and now we talk about the number of sperm uh, throughout the ejaculation. So the number of sperm two hundred to three hundred million during ejaculation. Okay, so now we talk about the parts of sperm. So the first one is head. I already show you in the diagram. and next part is neck and next is middle piece and last is tail okay so now i am going to uh, discuss about the detail with uh, the structure of sperm so first part is head okay so uh, as you have already seen in the diagram head is a flat and oval in shape and it composed of a large nucleus isme kya hota hai large nucleus present rehta hai and you can see in this diagram there is a cap like structure present above the head that is known as acrosome this is the cap like structure isko hum kya bolte cap acrosome and if we talk about the location of acrosome so it is located at the tip of the nucleus and formed from the golgi apparatus okay so uh, basically acrosome has a enzyme and it contains a enzyme that is known as uh hyaluronidase enzyme okay and now we talk about the function of this particular enzyme so what is the function of this enzyme it dissolve the egg membrane for the fertilization okay so uh, basically kya hai ki jo hydrolytic enzyme hai theek hai hyaluronidase jo maine abhi aapko bataya hai ye kya karta hai dissolve kar deta hai egg membrane ko for the fertilization jab tak egg membrane dissolve nahi hogi so it is very impossible uh, for the sperm to penetrate in the egg okay so iske liye dissolve hona egg membrane ka zaruri hai aur wo dissolve kon karta hai hydrolytic enzyme okay so next part is neck so neck contain two centriole the first one is proximal centriole and second is distal centriole okay beta so what is the function of centriole so centriole helps in the formation of spindle fiber and that separate the chromosome during cell division so basically uh, these centrioles helps in the uh, separation of the uh, spindle fiber uh, in chromosome during cell division okay so next part is middle piece so i have already show you in the diagram this is the middle piece which contain the mitochondria and what is mitochondria mitochondria is the energy source uh, for the swimming theek hai ab hum baat karte hain middle piece ki so middle piece kya hai uh, cylindrical in shape okay and this is called power house of the sperm middle piece is also known as the power house of the sperm why because it possesses many mitochondria okay and now we talk about the what is the function of mitochondria in the sperm so it provide mitochondria provide energy for the movement of sperm okay so last part is tail so beta what is the function of tail it helps the movement of the sperm okay so uh, tail kya kar rahi hai basically movement mein work kar rahi hai okay so uh, this is the particular lecture based on the structure of sperm so please watch this video more than two time so definitely and positively you will understood 
very nicely. So thanks for watching this video.